a group working to help lead men and women out of prostitution, will make its case to Travis County Commissioners tomorrow. They're trying to lock in more funding for the program. They'll help present an evaluation of the Phoenix Court, and KXAN's Jacqueline Powell looks at how it's helping people arrested for prostitution and saving you money. I can't tell you how good it feels to see when somebody comes in and says we saved their life because they went through the program successfully. Judge Mike Denton oversees Travis County's Phoenix Court, meeting weekly with men and women who've been given the chance to go through the one to two year program that gives them a second chance to have a record wiped clean and a fresh start at life. And they can't escape unless somebody's willing to stop, hold out a hand, give them that help. In addition to weekly court visits with Judge Denton, participants receive help with housing, drug treatment, and intensive counseling. And then they start to learn that it is a different way to live, and they want to. Counselor Tony Frank says everyone who comes through the program is there as a result of some type of trauma, usually from their childhood. He says many also struggle with mental illness and substance abuse. So the key... Truly treating them as victims. Judge Denton says it's a strategy that's not only saving lives, but also money. It's not just the cost of a single arrest, but it's as we look down the road, uh, the, the county's going to have to respond over and over and over again. In its first three years, about 20 people have gone through the program, a number Judge Denton says is much larger than it sounds, considering prostitution's impact on the neighborhoods and families attached to it. When you help one, you're really helping a lot. Jacqueline Powell, KXAN News. Those running the Phoenix Court program hope to expand its reach, but that would take more funding. The program lost its grant when Governor Greg Abbott cut funding to Travis County all over the immigration fight last year. Travis County stepped in and agreed to fund the program through the end of this fiscal year.